hate documenting a few more things. Uh, Guitar Hero controller. See? World Tour, PlayStation 3. Dual Guitar Game. Get that over there. As you can see, I do in fact have both controllers. See? There's the other one. And I can assure you the disc is in that box because it says disc on it. Okay. Put that down for a sec. Alright, let's get you back in here where you belong. Okay, something else. Yeah, you show that in another video. This is all my GameCube stuff. I got uh, a couple of controllers in here, power pack, RF adapters in there somewhere. Yes, another power cord. I found like like five of those. So I'll put that back there. Uh, as for the GameCube, there it is, right there. Uh, it's not on top. I've got Zero Legend Zelda Collector's Edition, Metroid Prime, Coach Dish for Prime. Uh, let's see, I got the original Pikmin, Soul Calibur 2, Sonic Adventure DX, Pokemon Coliseum, and I think, yeah, this is like some promotional disc that came out. Ah, uh, here. Yeah, here's my uh, Japanese dictionary. The. I bought a while back intending to go to Japan to use it, and well, that never materialized. Because I don't have $2,000. <laughs> Why does it have to be so expensive to fly on a plane? Or now, here. Here's the GameCube. Oh, yeah, I forgot the top. Uh, Game Boy Player. But. There's two memory cards, and there's the Game Boy Player. And you know this this is this that is uh it's good to have but it's also not good to have. Because the Game Boy Player only works with GBA games and an original Game Boy games. It does not work with the DS or the 3DS, so there's that. Okay, again with this over here. Because, you know, I lost the ones I originally had. There's my, uh, my 3DS that works but doesn't. For some reason, my 3DS will not read game cartridges, but it still functions and does everything else. Yeah, don't ask me how that happened. I don't know. Okay, uh, my PlayStation... <laughs> PlayStation 2. Original copy, and yes, I do mean original copy of Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. And, and don't ask because most of the codes are gone. Uh, that's something that my cousin left at my house. I've been meaning to get back to him. Uh, this was something I picked up a freebie I got from J-List at Comic-Con a few years back. I am a fan of IUR. I Yori Aoshi, but I just, I just, you know, never got around to those two. Mm-hmm. Action Replay Max for PS2. Mm-hmm. Here's the PS2 right there. Um, you know, I'll just put this over here. Yeah, over, yeah, right there. You can go right there. Uh, let's see, let's do... Uh, what is in here is on CD-ROM. There it is. Is... Now I have to put that down for a sec. To get it out. XCOM! UFO Defense. Okay, let's 
let's see, what are we going to do next? Just let her uh, put over here. Um, copy of Wired Magazine. Yeah, Star Wars is back. Eh. No issue PC Gamer. Another issue PC Gamer. Actually, this one I should probably take a look at. I'm going to put it up here. Along with this old issue PC World. Uh, uh, they have bought it up, Kai. Coins of the World. One yen. This uh, random Epcot stuff. Now, put these. Let's see, I'll put them in this drawer here. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> uh, there's uh, my PlayStation with a Game Shark on it. And uh, here's all the stuff. I should. Yeah, there's our unit here. It should be a power adapter. Power cord in here somewhere. Yeah, there's the game shark. Okay, let's see what what's next here. Uh, Earth to the Moon, the complete series on DVD. Ah, uh, uh, probably the most valuable. Mm. The most valuable magazine I have here. The final issue of Nintendo Power. I think I'll put this in here. In the closet. Uh, yeah, I'll put it in top shelf. Along with the uh, top shelf where I have the uh, mic. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's see. Next, um. Uh, Oh, a copy of Space Rangers 2, which I'm most likely going to donate. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta start a donate pile over here. Yeah, let's start a donate pile over here. Uh, uh, let's see, uh, uh, Homeworld Cataclysm. Which reminds me, where is the disc for that? Oh, it's down here. All right in here. I don't know why I put the disc for this over here, but there you go. I'm just going to put this back in the box. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh -huh. There it is. I think I'm just going to have to start a PC shelf in here. Um, actually, no, I think. Yeah, I'll just leave it on this table here for now. Uh, uh, as for the original Homeworld, uh, I knocked this over a while back. Yeah, it's in that box right there. Or maybe that's the CD down there on the floor. I don't know. Uh, I got MVP Baseball 2005 right there. Uh, actually, yeah, see. Let me grab this here. See? I'll pick that up eventually. Um, let's see here. Uh, move these over here. Those are my apartment keys. Uh-huh. <laughs> There's that. Got my nose and my hat gloves. Aha. Uh -huh. Here's an oldie buddy goodie. Starship Creator Warp 2. See? There's that. 
There we go. And I just got to put the camera down real quick because I have to open up the box because I think I have something extra in here. Yes, yes I do. Sheesh. Oh my god. Look, the, the original receipt. I don't know why it's still in there. And look at the date on that. If you can see it. 050800. Wow. I don't know. I don't know why I'm still holding on to that receipt. Alright. Uh, yeah, here's. Here's the main reason why I wanted to grab that. Oh. Ah, crap. Here's the main reason why I wanted to grab that. Woo! Starship Creator Deluxe. Yep. Starship Creator Deluxe. And, yep, two CDs. And, there's a CD for that one. Uh, yeah, Dominion Wars. Game I never touched. And, here's. I'm not gonna. Actually, you know what? Let me. Uh, give me a sec. I'll, I'll unfold this here on the floor. Oh, Floated out, fold it out. Now I'm gonna flip it over. You don't go into sleep mode. <laughs> I'll flip it over. Actually, I think yeah, I think it's supposed to be this way done. Uh, okay. So now I've been flipped over, and well. That's the back side. I mean, yeah, wow, look at that. Whew. Thing's huge. Okay. And now I'm going to fold it back up again. Alright, come on. Uh, one thing I hate about this is when these folds decide to become valleys. Anybody who's had one of these giant folding things knows what I'm talking about. Come on. Okay. I would get for these if I ever sold them, but here you go. Return of the Jedi VHS. And Empire Strikes Back VHS. That 99 cents is what they were charging at VOA. Star Wars at VHS. Alright, I'm going to put these away real quick. So I want to keep the video that way. Watch you go black.
You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, let's see. What's the next thing we're going to get to here? Uh, uh, there's the box for the game chart. It's in the other room. Uh, bookmark of a million dollar bill. Alright, let's get to these. Let's get to these. Here. There we go. PlayStation 2. There we go. PlayStation 2. I have yet to finish this game. Um, well, I, well, I've beaten the story several times. It's just... I just can't get all the damn cards! That's right. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what happened. I lost. I lost the case for this. I just no idea. The case just disappeared. And okay, that's that. We're gonna put that down. And I'll put these away. There you got the golf on. Uh, where is this? Ah, ah, yeah, here's the box. Yeah, that's the box. There we go. Load rebox box, but I've got it marked differently. <laughs> I could probably sell this one for three times what I paid for it. Because this has turned out to be the most collectible Castlevania game there is. Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Which is widely regarded as, as the best 2D Castlevania game. Mm. Yeah, this is yeah, this is probably an old Blockbuster case. Yeah, I like Blockbuster video. There it is, Ridge Racer Type 4. I think I have all the Ridge Racer games except for the one that came out for the 360. Uh, Land and Conquer. Yeah, you can see the disc is in there. Metal Gear Solid. GameShark Pro for what? For use with Game Boy Color. Oh, shh, Nikes. I don't even know if I have a Game Boy anymore. Well, yeah, I'll just hold on to that. Uh, yeah, and this is you know, an extra copy of this of what I have on top of my PlayStation. Okay, I've got for Final Fantasy VIII. Hot Shots Golf. I do not have Hot Shots Golf 2. Uh, yeah, just an extra memory card holder thing, but, you know. Rage Racer, which is actually Rage Racer 3. Star Wars Dark Forces. What's this one? Ah, the original Dead or Alive. Oh, I forgot I bought that. Uh, one of the original launch... This probably was the original launch title for the PlayStation. 
Rage Racer. Yeah, I'm not sure. Rich, yeah, Rich Racer, I think, was the launch title. There's the uh, second one, Rich Racer Revolution. Final Fantasy VII. And let's just be honest, folks. We're probably going to see Kingdom Hearts 3 before we see an HD remake of Final Fantasy VII. Alright. Let's trust me, if there's one thing I've learned about the gaming industry, it's 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 this. Just because the fans of a series want you to do something doesn't mean the developers are gonna want to do that. Here we are, Final Fantasy IX. And Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. And I don't I mean this is here's the one thing that irked irks me about this. Okay, look at this. There's one disc. One fucking disc. So why the hell did they need to do a two CD box? I mean, this is some of the shit that is wasteful fucking shit that bothers me about about things in general. I mean, I mean, really, two CD box? Jesus. But yeah, this is probably the most valuable PlayStation game I have. Castlevania Symphony of the Night. And there it is, right there. Alright. I'll be back in a second when I'm going to put that box away. And keep the computer from going to sleep. Well, we're going to want to put this box. Okay, I'll put it in. Choose the plastic sleeve on it's got a got a few tears, but I mean mostly, you know the box is, you know, still uh, let me get get a better view of that. See? And the collector's edition. And I assure you everything's here, I just gotta Yeah, get me this plastic sleeve off of here and yeah. Better view here. Okay. Let me get this cover off of here. Yeah, the, yeah I know. It's not in particularly good shape, but you know. Wasn't, I didn't even remove it. Here's the uh, authenticator key that is kind of. doesn't work anymore because I disabled it. Because this this phone that I'm shooting on, that I'm pointing at right now, I downloaded a mobile authenticator. Okay, and um, here is the art book. There's these two little things in here. Yeah, these two little things. Hold on, I got I got to put the camera down so I can get them open. See, you know, it's times like these where I wish humans had evolved to have three arms. Yeah, see? And that's one of them. Go ahead and get to the other one. Oh, wait a sec, there were three. That's right. Treaty of Corsant, a little piece from the Treaty of Corsant, which if you had, I don't know who's watching this, but if you have played uh, Old Republic, it's kind of significant. 
Okay, let me see. Where is the fault in this? Ah, here we go. We have it all done. And this is the other thing that was in here. That's all of that. As for the actual book itself, I'll just, you know, flip through a couple pages, see. It's mostly, you know, background stories, concept art, that kind of stuff. Let me see. And, yes, I know the book isn't too valuable anymore, because, you know, I mean, you know, and I'll go, I'm going to go on a little bit of a rant on the, on the collectibles thing. You know what? I wanted to fucking see what the book was. I'm sorry. I'm not going to spend money. I get another book that I'm not going to do anything with. Just so this one is new in box, not open. So it's, you know, at the front. I'm sorry, but you know what? You know, you know what? opened it and looked at it, okay? Sue me. I don't give a shit about, you know, oh, it's only worth $40 now, and if you hadn't opened the thing, it would only, it could be worth double that. You know what? I wanted to see what it was. I wanted to look at it. I wanted to read the damn book, okay? Jesus. I'm sorry, but you know what? You collectors, you, you just find any... You collectors out there, Sometimes I think you're in the business of doing whatever you can to get a hold of something and pay as little as you can for it. Um, yeah, here's that. Here's this. Now I don't care about you seeing the product registration code for a second because it's a one-time use code. And I've already used the code, so you can't use it. Same with this, I've already used that code, although from my understanding that's pretty much the same code that's that's given to everybody. Uh, and installing the game manual. Yeah, I'll put these two back in here. Ah, come on. Just get in there, these stupid things. Okay, there's the desk. There's disc three. Yeah, the collectible tin. I'm gonna put the stump right back. Okay, let's keep the computer from going into sleep mode again. Okay, that's that. Um, over here on the side. Here's the soundtrack. You know what? I think I'm going to put that over here so I can make a copy of it on the computer. Uh, let me... I would love a second one of these just so I could, you know, have one to hang up on my wall. But... Okay. Right there. Okay. The Galactic Map in Old Republic. Now, uh, this is the original, original map because they've added several things. I mean, there was the Rise of the Hot Cartel expansion that added Macabre somewhere in Hut's face in here. I mean, yeah, there's been other things added, like there's like a couple of operations out up in here that you can go to. But yeah, I mean that's all the plan. It's all around. And and in case you're wondering, no, I do not have a level 55 character. My highest character is 45, mostly because you know. I just, 
you know, haven't gotten around to, you know, well, I, I, all right, I got bored with Old Republic and I didn't play it for a few months, you know, that's, that's the truth, I just, I don't know, I just, there were a couple months there where I just didn't feel like playing Old Republic at all. We'll take this out. Okay, this is the main thing here. The Darth Malgus statue. And I will tell you, this is the only thing that I did not take out of the box. And not because, you know, collectible market or anything. It's just mostly because, you know, I mean, look, I just, you know, never really found a place for it. And if you're wondering that what that is, this is being filmed in January, and I have the final round of the Farmer's Insurance Open on television. The 2014 Farmer's Insurance Open, in case anybody's wondering what year. Okay, let's see. Now I already did that stuff. Uh, don't ask me what's in here. It's it's a bunch of 3x5 discs, and I have no idea what's in there. Okay, let's see. That stuff. Oh, yeah, let me flip that over for a sec. Of course, uh, of course I could do that. With, if I could do that without tripping over that, it would be good. I've got, I've got another one of these somewhere. Uh, I got these. I have others somewhere else, but the towel bags that I got from Comic-Con when I bought uh, these cars that are up here, okay, that I put behind my de my desk there. That's a random thing. Uh, that's my movie collection. I'll do that in another video. Uh, let's see what else here. Yeah, I'll do that in another video. There's my PlayStation 3 controller. Okay, that stuff I'll do in another video. Yeah, here's another metal bag. This is contents of that I'll do in another video. Okay. Yeah. I'll do that stuff in another video, but, you know, that and those I've already done in another video. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, one last look around, and I'll let you guys take a look out the window for, for a few seconds. See all the cars going, going by my place. And the brewery that's right underneath <laughs> that my finger's covering. And that's one of the other persons that lives here. Alright, well. Alright, well, I guess I'm going to end the video here.